Let's start at the very beginning. I can't imagine how it could be a casting for this character. Could you please tell me about it? Well, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, the casting was the simplest interview I've had in 47 years. I went in and they said, well, Jeremy, uh, could you try that suit on, the flying suit? I said, yes, <laughs> put it on, zipped it up. Uh, could you put the gloves on? I said, yes. But what I was seeing with the interview, the costume fitted as if someone from a Savile Row tailor in London had made it. I put the rest of the breastplate on and everything. They put the jetpack on. I walked out, met George Lucas. Yeah. Well, looks a bit of that there. Yeah, well, that's well, well, welcome aboard, Jeremy. It's only two or three days' work. And that I thought, well, they haven't asked me to read yet. Are they going to say, take the costume off and then what? Because I never had a script. And the amazing thing was is to get dressed in the outfit, and that was the interview. Now, if I hadn't fitted the outfit, then I wouldn't have done it. There was one costume. What's happening in an actor's life after being Boba Fett? Well, Boba Fett, luckily, by wearing a helmet, you're not known as Boba Fett to everybody. I mean, people in London or in England, they know you from theatre, television. And so I've just finished a, funny enough, science fiction comedy where I play a mad doctor. My hair is like this. You know, totally, completely different from Boba Fett. So I carry on working. Um, it's a big part of your life, but not the only thing in your life. And now with episode three coming out, you get asked to do interviews in London, um, get on the internet. There's a special online chat, a charity dinner in Belgium, a special event in France next week. So for the next eight weeks, it'll be very busy. Then it'll just calm down, and I hope to then start a second series of this science fiction event, a comedy called Star Hike. Could you please tell me a, a few sentences about the, uh, uh, this new Star Wars episode? A lot of children, not here in Hungary, but a lot of children won't be able to see it for a while. Uh, why? I don't know. Pe pe parents are now saying, my children can't see Star Wars 3. Why have you done this? Why? But the real, the fans from the original, when they were very young, they want this episode to be how they want it. They want it dark. And, and dark it will be. I think it'll be, I think the trailer, I've seen the trailer, like everybody else, and it, it looks good. It looks quite, it looks scary, very scary. <laughs>